good morning uh, first let me introduce uh, myself i'm dr simha chalam uh, working as an assistant professor at nird and i bring to this particular institute national institute for rural development and panchayati raj government of india uh, i am my background is geoinformatics only i deal geoinformatics uh, about gis remote sensing gps in its applications in various sectors so this particular field is very i think essential of this field you know because since you are doing you are all aware why this is important here today we have uh, two units will be covered under the course three of special analysis and uh, application in geoinformatics and this course there are two units needs to be covered the one is special data modeling and database management the unit two will be data analysis these two units are <clears throat> very very important in fact data generation creation that analysis which is very very important how what this in this process just will be knowing it so let us start with the <clears throat> unit 1 it's on spatial data modeling and database management do you have any idea about spatial data to whom we call spatial data spatial data means what you are not there in my last class no no na no? okay spatial data means data which is having latitude longitude or another word is geographical data geographical data ko spatial data bolte for example this is my for example one small village revenue village right so here there is a road networking okay this is one hamlet in my village another hamlet okay and here also we have one more hamlet what we are seeing in the map <clears throat> these are all special features or special data because this data is there on the earth for example road is special data because it's there on the earth it got the latitude longitude and house special data building spatial data forest land water body anything which we can see with our eye these are all called spatial data which is there on the earth you are all aware that the entire globe have been divided into 180 latitudes and 360 longitude values where we measure where we are on the earth or anything on the earth where it lies उसको लोकेशन मालूम होने के लिए कहा है कोई चीज रास्ता हो एक ट्री हो एक बिल्डिंग हो एक इंस्टीट्यूट हो और कोई एग्रीकल्चर लैंड हो वाटर बॉडी हो दिस आर ऑल ज्योग्राफिकल फीचर्स राइट दीज ज्योग्राफिकल फीचर्स वेर इट लाइज ऑन द अर्थ विल बी एड्रस्ड विद द हेल्प ऑफ लैटिट्यूड लॉन्गिट्यूड ओनली अक्षांश रेकांश जो बोलता है उसका माध्यमिक से हम लोग को मालूम पड़ता है हम लोग कहा है और कोई चीज कहा है गूगल के ऊपर उसको प्रोसेस को बोलते हैं जियो टैगिंग राइट सो वॉट जी एस बेसिकली डू इज दिस जोग्राफिकल डाटा विल बी रिप्रेजेंटेड इन द फॉर्म ऑफ मैप विद द हेल्प ऑफ लैटिट्यूड लॉन्गिट्यूड वे द लैटिट्यूड लॉन्गिट्यूड यू कैन सी द डाटा विद द हेल्प ऑफ लैटिट्यूड लॉन्गिट्यूड इन जी आई एस दिस डाटा कॉल्ड स्पीटियल डाटा डाटा विच इज देर ऑन दर्थ दिस स्पेशल डाटा मॉडलिंग एंड डाटा बेस मैनेजमेंट this particular special data how it can be modeled there are three kinds of data modeling we have in gis one is vector data model second one is raster data model we will see what is those but before that as a course you have to understand what is spatial analysis spatial analysis which is very very <clears throat> important spatial analysis has a set of tools used for analyzing spatial data the quantitative study of phenomena complex phenomena located in space can be termed as spatial analysis then the spatial analysis means very simple now you know spatial data these are spatial data jitna bhi google ke upar ek cheez hum jo dekh rahe usko spatial data bolta hai usko analysis matlab kya hai the quantitative study of phenomena located in space can be termed as spatial analysis quantification means measurement kitna hai in your revenue village particularly the village which we located how much land under agriculture yeah. how much land under agriculture it's an analysis how much land under water body it's a special analysis 
how much land under forest is a special analysis how much land under settlement ghar makan jo kitna area mein hai usko special hai. quantification bolta hai this quantification when you make it for your entire village crop land for example 100 hectares okay forest land for example 20 hectares right when you analyze similar way you have fallow land or waste land 10 hectares okay water body 10 hectares these called special analysis when you quantify but not in a tubular form in GIS as you know both the data can be same one is special and the other one is attribute or non-special data इसको बोलते हैं ये टेबलर फॉर्म जो देख रहे हैं आपका नंबर्स इसको नॉन स्पेशल डेटा बोलता है जो स्पेशल डेटा मींस इसको स्पेशल डेटा बोलता है जो लेट लॉन्ग का माध्यमिक सब देख, देखता है उसको स्पेशल डेटा बोलता है तो ये चीज हर चीज आपको इधर दिखाई देगा स्पेशल एनालिसिस में कहां क्या चीज आपको वो दिखाई देगा इफ यू क्लिक ऑन दिस पर्टिकुलर फीचर सपोज ये रास्ता है ये रास्ता के ऊपर जीएस में क्लिक करेंगे इसका लेंथ कितना है लेंथ ऑफ द रोड जैसे टोटल कच्चा रोड कितना है हमारे ग्राम पंचायत में ब्लॉक में डिस्ट्रिक्ट में टोटल पक्का रास्ता कितना है फॉर एग्जांपल व्हेन यू क्वांटिफाई इट विद सिंबल कलर मैप में देख सकते राइट इट इज आल्सो स्पेशल एनालिसिस और उसके बारे में जब आप ये नंबर देखते हैं क्वांटिफिकेशन इसको भी स्पेशल एनालिसिस बोलते हैं बेसिकली क्वांटिफिकेशन ऑफ योर फिनोमिना लोकेटेड इन स्पेस कॉल्ड टर्मड एज स्पेशल एनालिसिस मिल इसको क्वांटिफिकेशन निकालना है ये क्वांटिफिकेशन बहुत जरूरत है फॉर प्लानिंग मॉनिटरिंग एटसेट्रा को भी रिसर्च पर्पस व्हेन यू गो फॉर द क्वांटिफिकेशन ऑफ योर स्पेशल दैट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट अदरवाइज वी डोंट नो बिकॉज़ यू हैव टू प्लान फॉर रूरल रोड्स एक ब्लॉक में प्लान करना है तो एक ब्लॉक के अंदर कितना गांव है कितना गांव में पक्का रास्ता है कितना गांव में कच्चा रास्ता है एंड देन व्हाट इज द लेंथ ऑफ द रोड ईच विलेज को जरूरत है तो उसके लिए स्पेशल एनालिसिस बहुत जरूरत है आप एक ब्लॉक को डिमार्केट करें विद योर बाउंड्री then all existing villages will be demarcated and then linkage roads to those villages what are all roads having in that particular village will be demarcated through the map when you demarcated the map all the existing roads in the map format gis will give you automatically length of the road right each and every village connected road what is the total length required for plan which you have the kacha convert into pakka using different schemes maybe pradhan mantri gram sadak yojana maybe mahatma gandhi narega maybe 15th finance commission there are different schemes we have in our rural development sector or in any other sector to develop particular road networking that can be used for develop the roads to uske liye gis kaise kaam karta hai ye analysis karna bahut zarurat hai exactly aapko kahan ka really zarurat hai kitna zarurat hai that will be known not only roads anything maybe kachcha houses pakka houses maybe agricultural land fallow land मे बी वाटर बॉडीज एंड रिवर्स एक्सेट्रा उसमें पेरिनियल कितना है सीजनल कितना है एवरी थिंग स्पेशली यू कैन क्लासीफाई हि एंड द क्वांटिफिकेशन विल बी गिवन एज टेबल फॉर्म बाई दी आई एस इसको स्पेशल एनालिसिस बोलता है एंड इट्स डिपेंड्स ऑन द लोकेशन ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्ट बींग एनालाइज एंड प्रोसेस एग्जामिनिंग द लोकेशन एट्रीब्यूट एंड रिलेशनशिप ऑफ फ्यूचर्स इन स्पेशल डाटा इज मेड पॉसिबल थ्रू द ओवरले एनालिसिस देर आर डिफरेंट एनालिसिस टूल्स वी हैव we'll be discussing what kind of analysis we have when it comes to the data model right uh, which is very essential component of any operational gis data model data means what normally you forget about gis commonly data kisko bolte hum log ye to special data ho gaya alag hai but ye new naya ho sakta but data to aap janta hai na kisko data bolunge information is very good information matlab <laughs> right you are right information means what uh, for your kind of information i mean uh, for your knowledge i say uh, this data and database and information three are look like same but the source is same but terminology should be used in different system differently right data when we call this is different after data we create database then information now come to the data data means raw facts and figures called data r a w raw facts and figures called data 
after collecting your data you create database database means an organized collection of data an organized collection of data after that you will get information information means processed data called an information processed data called an information sir kya hai sab to data hai isme <laughs> right yes exactly this for example somebody is going to teacher or any enumerated to collect the data census data example right census data kahan se collect collection hota hai har ghar ja ke collect karta hai na घर का मालिक का नाम क्या है हाउस नंबर क्या है कितना पीपल स्टेइंग कर रहे हैं मेल कितना है फीमेल कितना है उसका लिटरेसी रेट कैसा है एज कितना है राइट ऑक्यूपेशन लैंड होल्डिंग हाउसिंग कम्युनिटीज वी कलेक्ट नंबर ऑफ थिंग्स नो व्हेन वी गो फॉर बेस्ट लैंड सर्वे डाटा और सेंसस डाटा सो आपका दोस्त ने फॉर एग्जाम्पल एक टीचर है वो जा रहा है सेंसस डाटा लाने के लिए आप पूछ रहे भाई कहाँ जा रहा हो वेरी आर गोइंग देन ही आर शी विल टेल दैट भाई मैं सेंसस डाटा लाने के लिए जा रहा हूं प्लीज रिमाइंड दैट नेवर यूज नो नो आई एम गोइंग टू कलेक्ट सेंसस इंफॉर्मेशन कोई यूज करता है नेवर नेवर यूज सेंसस डाटा बेस दे यूज ओनली सेंसस डाटा कलेक्शन करने के लिए जा रहा हूं बिकॉज दे आर गोइंग टू कलेक्ट द डाटा विच इज रॉ फैक्ट एंड फिगर्स जस्ट रॉ फैक्ट एंड फिगर्स दे आर गोइंग टू कलेक्ट दिस कॉल्ड डाटा एंड देन सेकेंड वन इज डाटा बेस वेन दे कम बैक they put in a database format in organized manner like serial number head of the household name total population total male total female right and then occupation then housing amenities like whether electricity is available or not drinking water available or not what a sanitary related available or not these are all when you put in a organized way with the serial number of the house in that particular revenue village or gp this called database लाने के बाद प्रॉपर मैनर जब ऑर्गेनाइज करेंगे उसको डाटाबेस बोलता है देन फाइनली यूज योर यू नेवर यूज डायरेक्टली डाटा डाटाबेस इन योर प्रोजेक्ट्स आर इन योर स्टडी वी यूज इन स्टडी ओनली इंफॉर्मेशन व्हिच कम्स फ्रॉम डाटा एंड डाटाबेस ओनली द इंफॉर्मेशन मींस प्रोसेस डाटा एज आई सेड इफ यू वांट टू प्लान हेल्थ फैसिलिटी इन योर ब्लॉक और डिस्ट्रिक्ट देन यू हैव टू नो यू हैव what are all existing phcs we have in my district so that i can find out the gap so what i have to do i have to process entire gp entire district phcs available phcs no no i want to plan only for for example i want to know how many female population we have then i have to process entire gp if if you want to at gp level process matlab pura usko jitna ghar hai kitna population of laya hai usko pura process karna sabko female male alag hoga No, no, no. I want only the female with more than sixty years. If I want to know for a different scheme purpose, maybe NSAP, National Social Assistance Program, we have where after sixty years they get the pension from the government. Then you have to process the entire database with their age, which you have in your database. Then you will get information. So process data called an information, which is very useful. Finally, we use only information in your projects. You do any thesis or any project, common project also. Directly data we never use. Database we never use. We use only information, which comes from data and database. Okay. So data, database, information. These three are very important. And here the similar way in GIS we call spatial data. Similar way data. For example, this is a data. Roads are data. Settlements are data. Water bodies are data. Boundaries are data. This is spatial data, data which is there on the earth. Geographical data, spatial data, same. So this spatial data will be represented in GIS in different ways, right? One is vector, and second one is raster. So data models, just we will see. This is characteristics of data means different types of spatial data will be. Like 2D, we have 3D data. We have then discrete or continuous data. We have different at features are not same. Some features will be point. Some will be line linear features like road, stream, river, etc. Some will be polygon or area. For example, I want to see water body. It's area concept. I want to see forest, forest land. It's area concept, right? So three kinds of data will be represented especially in uh, spatial data. and also we have 2d and 3d data also 
Spatial data will be represented in both the ways. Three-dimensional view, exactly how your physiography look like in your study area or geographical area. Second one is 2D. One is 3D, second one is 2D, which we see in the map form. Right? So both the data can be visualized, spatial data can be visualized in the uh, spatial analysis. There are different uh, sources of spatial data, like uh, data acquisition from different sources, like uh, conventional along with the map sources and aerial and remote sensing, satellite remote sensing, field data existing. One is spatial data source, another one is non-spatial data source. Spatial data means this is the spatial data. This is how it can Sir, road information, water body information. We have to go and draw it. And we can do GIS mapping. So, this is the spatial data source. Satellite remote sensing as a backdrop. Using GIS, you will demarcate it. You will map it. Second option will be aerial photography, which you will get even three-dimensional view. Jet value also you will see in aerial photography imagery. Then we have some field sources like GPS is the main source to collect field data, spatial data. GPS like a jacob latitude longitude collect kar sakta hai, jis se aap map bana sakta hai. So spatial data can be collected through the GPS also. Then existing digital map sources like there are number of web portals now available for spatial data ke liye. Sirf generate karna nahi hai, already generate kar chuka hai. Right? Like Bhuvan ka bolke NRSA ne dita hai, National Remote Sensing Center ka Bhuvan. Just type it in the Google it, then you will get various applications, especially directly you can visualize by the Bhuvan. And also we have USGS American portal AK, usse bhi special data download kar sakta hai. Satellite data free of cost download kar sakta hai. Bhuvan se bhi aap kar sakta hai. Then Earth Explorer AK, SRTMA where you can download three dimensional view. Dem data also you can download it. Right? Even Google Earth is another source, which is open source, but still you can able to visualize the special data. So these are all different various sources of spatial data where you can able to visualize and extract and these sources using these sources you can create new spatial data in your respective study area using GIS software. Then as I said we have two types of spatial data models right uh, when we use to analyze spatial data basically we use GIS software in this two kinds of spatial data models are available one is raster another one is vector spatial data model what do you mean by the raster what do you mean by the vector Quickly just we see because this is important right when you prepare for examinations there are types of spatial data what is spatial data what is spatial analysis then come to the spatial data models right there are two types of spatial data models available one is raster second model is vector <coughs> Raster data model may you represent all data is represent with the pixel form. Pixel you understand no? Pixel means Are mobile may use karte na? I made a 10 megapixel, I made a 20 megapixel. What does it mean? <laughs> Why the 20 megapixel camera mobile are costly than 10 megapixel? <laughs> Anybody? Pixel means what? Definition of the pixel? Pixel means picture element. Pixel means picture element. These all cells which are saying it is nothing but a pixel. Your raster data will be shown this way. Grid form. Pixel means picture element. Aapko picture jo photo banta hai, pixel se banta hai, cell se banta hai. Photo zoom karke dekhe computer. Finally you get this one, no? Even your TV, if you go to home and see closely, then your TV also picture represents in a raster form, which made with the pixels. Pixel means picture element, right? So this pixel size is, if it is big, the clarity will be less. If pixel size is small, clarity will be high. Whereas number of pixels, same unit of area, number of pixels kitna hai? 10 hai, 20 hai, 30 hai, 50. If it is 50, same area mein to chota chota pixel hoga. 10 on is a bada hoga. Obvious is depends on the clarity. Your picture depends on the clarity based on this pixel size only. Which calls raster format. In GIS also, data will be represented in raster form for various purposes. Like your topo sheet, satellite imagery, map and all. When you scan it, it comes as a raster form. Right? 
So if I want to represent this road in the raster form, see, total pure pixel ko aisa se dekhna padega. Kaise raster mera road is going? All pixels will be marked with one color. Pure pixel, not in exact position or location, right? Pixel wise, for ex right? Suppose road from here to here, road I want to represent in the raster form, in the pixel form it will be marked. Whereas same road if you want to represent in vector form, right? In vector form basically data will be represented in three ways, point, line, polygon, right? So one is point, line, polygon. The here, point for example is a building, demarcate specific point. In case of this road line, exactly it will go line. Here it will not waste see, but road is going like this, but it will represent the entire pixel in raster form. So vector form is very clear than the raster form. It occupies very less space and accuracy is very high in vector form than the raster form. Then this is the polygon area, water body, etc. Right. So these two are very important uh, vector and raster. You can see here, sorry, uh, what is the raster here? It's clearly, clearly given. It's a various called a grid or raster map or surface overlay. A raster represents continuous surface with the help of discrete grids or cells which we have seen in the picture. But for data stored and analysis, a raster is divided into rows and columns forming cells. Cells are called as a pixels, which I just said what is a pixel. It's a picture element. And then if you see the vector data model, it's like point line polygon which will be used for representing your entire vector spatial data. The point has dimension had only one property of location, one x and one y, one latitude and one longitude. The whereas line is having series of latitude longitude value. The polygon also having a series of lat long value, but when it starts to be closed line we call, closed line called as a polygon. But each and every point of the line, you will have the latitude and longitude value. So when you design, draw a map, both will be used. When you do spatial analysis, vector is very clear accuracy than the raster for spatial analysis also, representation also, right, in the data model, right. Always you prefer for vector data model only for putting into the map form using the GIS. But sir, why can raster push sakte hai? For example, I want to see 3D view. I cannot extract in the vector form. I want to do some analysis, clubbing, merging, overlaying some other spatial data like land use, land cover, soil, dryness, different layer ko analysis me ek saath rakhne. Then I can, I have to use the raster form only, not in the vector form. Okay. So these two are very important in spatial data, vector model and raster model. Please remember these things, how it can, it will be represented your data in vector and raster. These are all uh, some of the, what you call, data models used in GIS, like CAD, graphical, image, raster, these are data model, right? Network model, georelational, tin, object. If you see out of this, we have uh, the raster format will be around two or three only, two types only, that is image and raster grid. The image format or .imz is the raster format. When basically National Remote Sensing Agency NRSC provide your space satellite data in image format. We have one more format called TIFF, T-I-F-F, dot TIFF format. No? This TIFF format also will be called as a raster format, like your photograph, a scan topo sheet and all will be stored in TIFF format, right? So basically these two are called as a raster, otherwise all you see in the vector format which object oriented, which the geographical point oriented, everything will be shown as a vector format in GIS. 90% data will be used as a vector in GIS analysis, remember that. Then the database management technology in GIS, there are many more databases, I mean, uh, we use SQL Server, we use many more. But basically in GIS, when we use two types of data we have, one is spatial data, the another one is non-spatial data. As I said, spatial data means which you see here in the mappable form, right? Like this line, point, polygon, which you demarcated in the map form, we call spatial data. Whereas non-spatial or attribute data means about the data. For example, there is a road, this is spatial data. 
right here about this road there are number of attributes will be given in the gis if you click on this road right like name of the road whether it is national highway state highway district highway what is this and then type of the road another attribute black top gravel road cut what kind of road it is right and then condition of the road present condition kaisa hai bad condition good condition need to repair something in which year it was constructed which scheme it was constructed what is the width what is the length the connected from point 1 to point 2 point a to point b i mean from where to where the road is connected these are all called attributes or non spatial data gis when you create a database both datas will be there you can see there a database how it is managed as attribute 1 attribute 2 attribute 3 which you are saying this is nothing but attribute 1 2 3 4 like that you have shape that is polygon or line or point right anything on the point for example one point of the road which is a line we have seen about this line you have number of attributes like this both data is linked together using gis software special and attribute data or non special data special data means graphical data using point line polygon it will be demarcated which you have all geographical entities and attribute data means about that particular data quantification you say quality you say which can be demarcated or linked called non special or attribute data okay this way right so data will be database management will be gis basically two ways like this right then these are all different uh, metric standard database we have and the data definition and adding records query is another very important uh, analysis factor in gis we will see what kind of query we have the deleting records data security data dictionary query many more were there and these are the some dbms which being used in gis starting from microsoft access oracle sybase sql server db2 there are many more the basically we use microsoft access and oracle and then sql server also for when we go for web js etc so under this database management we use geo referencing of the object i think what is geo referencing you might have uh, read already geo reference for example i scan some topo sheet when i scan it some false values will come means the false values of the grid as i said earlier when you scan a topo sheet it will come in the grid form this pixel should have a value when you scan it it comes zero zero right but if you do the geo referencing of the objects what you do you will assign the original latitude longitude of the earth exactly the topo is where it is from the earth that lat long when you assign four corners using this particular uh, pr process the entire pixel will get lat long value the whole data gets lat long well this process called geo referencing in gis without geo referencing without latitude longitude you cannot do any analysis you cannot do any mapping these two are very important so the data which you have it may be satellite image it may be topo sheet it may be any kind of reference data that must have done first geo referencing which got the latitude longitude once you do the geo referencing the data will get automatically latitude longitude right in raster form each and every pixel get the lat long right so this process is very very important the coordinate system after geo referencing we have a map projection that we give basically ws84 that is world geodetic survey we enter the coordinate system once you give the coordinate system the data exactly goes and sit where it is on the earth that will be reflected with the lat long value and after that in gis once you create the data you do the geo referencing and projection you have to extract the data from raster to vector while digitizing there may be manual digitization right automatic digitizing tool there are many more tools are there to extract from convert from raster to vector using these many more options one is manual digitization right like low capital cost just directly while well, seeing backdrop of satellite image or topo sheet you can digitize right and then we have automatic scanning also the another uh, data extraction tool and then entry of coordinates using coordinate geometry you can enter lat long value so that things will be extracted and conversion of existing digital data is another technique becoming increasing popularly data input to conversion of existing digital data directly raster to vector it will convert whole data so new tool has come up but it was not there but when you use the first option 
the manual digitization is the very high accurate option where you can accurately extract your special features from raster to vector right this is very very important for generating any data type or data model in gis environment so that's all about the first unit uh, data input and methods which we have uh, to input your data up to here we do we digitize and then you also go for editing once you digitize this or scaling this you have to do some editing editing means what normal editing means what corrections no in editing what we do corrections no in gis also when you uh, digitize what process for example my study area is up to here but when i digitize by mistake up to here it gone this portion is not mine right in editing what i do i cut this one i remove this one and sometimes when i digitizing road but i given a gap in editing i have to mix with that road it should match it should connect so these called overlapping undershoots overshoots this process has to be done for under editing part so then once you do the editing then final data will come otherwise after extraction input digitization right or anything scanning digitization anything in option use data extraction then you have to do the editing also in editing final output will be shown and also you have attribute editing also by mistake i given kacha road but it is pakka road when i calculate from gps or other records then in attribute editing also you can convert into pakka road this is the non special editing this is special editing editing both editing can be done one is special editing and another one is non special editing right the collection of the rs called editing special and non special both that is the final uh, i mean editing is the final option in geo database creation special analysis and then database creation sorry data model data input data extraction then editing this is the entire process in gis